Now, Iblis is a creation of God. Iblis is a creation of God. Iblis is a jinn. Iblis is, you know, he's made of fire, which the Quran talks again in several places that he's made of fire. But where did Iblis come from? And were there the likes of Iblis before? So the Mufassun have come to, and again, this is based on those narrations that I talked about earlier. And what Allah Azza wa Jal did is that he created a whole creation of jinns that were on the earth. And this is, you will find in many of the early Mufassirun have commented on this. He created them on the earth and they had got taklif. Now what is taklif? Taklif is that God's now given them a responsibility to recognize him. Now when Allah gives responsibility to creation, he will, he will send messengers. So what Allah did is that he sent jinn messengers. So before there was human messengers, before Adam salam, who was the first human messenger, there were many jinn messengers that Allah Azza wa Jal sent to them. Now the jinns are made of fire and the jinns, one of the things they have inside, you know, being fiery is that you're, you, you're angry and you're, you're hasty, you're fast, you're very powerful. Now the sifat and the qualities that the jinns have between them is that they are in fights and they are in quabbles and they are in superiority and who can prove who's greater. This is one of the natures or nature of the jinns and they're always in the spirit of challenge. Um, now there are good jinns. Allah has, Azza wa has said that in Surah Jinn itself. He's talked about two different groups of jinns and he said the Salihun and there's those, those who are pious and those who are not pious. Now the ones that were on the earth were both types and messengers came down. But the messengers in the many numbers were killed by the jinns on the earth. And there was great corruption that, was, that prevailed on the earth. There was great corruption that prevailed on the earth. Now there was one notable jinn that was very pious. Iblis being who he was, he was a good jinn. And he started to worship God, worship God to the extent because jinns could fly, see, and jinns could go to, through, through many of the heavens. They could go up, up and down. They didn't have to stay on the earth. They didn't have to stay on the earth. They could travel up. It was only when Rasulullah came that they, were, that they were trapped within this first universe. This is clear from the Quran. This in Surah Safat, you will find this. In Surah Jinn, you will find this. That Allah did not allow them to go beyond the first heaven, or the first heaven, meaning the end of this universe. They can't go past that after the after Rasulullah became a prophet. But before that, they could go above that. So what happened is that on these travels, Iblis proved himself that he was so close to God. And Allah then allowed him to get closer and closer to higher and higher basically. And they say in some of these narrations that there was not, no space in the heavens was left, like no large space was left in the heaven, but Iblis had gone there and he had worshipped God. So he was a very, very, very close, you know, you could say jinn, a servant jinn, whatever you want to put it, to God. Until then, Allah Azza wa Jal allowed him, allowed him to come in the company of the Malaika, of the angels. And he got the chance to be in the company of the Malaika. Allah decided that he's going to send the angels down to the earth and to banish the, the, the uh, mutamarridin or those um, jinns that had caused a lot of corruption on the earth. So this group was going to come down and they're going to kill many of these jinns that were just out of control. Iblis volunteered that if he can come with the angels to kill these, ki these corrupted jinns on the earth. And Allah Azza wa Jal gave him permission. So he came. And they killed a lot of these jinns. They left only a few on the earth. And from these few again, the progeny of the jinns would start. Now Iblis returns back. Now many, many, maybe hundreds of years, I don't know, whatever is going by, by because jinns have very long lives. They don't have short lives that the human beings that, you know, we only have a, you know, 60, 70, 100 years. They have hundreds of years. Perhaps they have, they could have, a, you know, a few thousands of years of, of living. Now you've got Iblis that has gone down there, that has banished these jinns most of them who are corrupted on the on the earth and is returned back with the angels now he was with the angels but allah makes it very clear that he was not from the malaika he was from the jinn now why allah makes that clear is because we understand that no malak or no angel can ever disobey allah Azzawajal. allah has made it in their nature not to disobey allah but a jinn can so the the biblical sources they've now faltered again 
they say they call it a fallen angel so what they say is that if an angel decides to go against the will of God or the command of God then that angel Allah drops him from the rank of the angels and now he becomes a fallen angel that's the biblical sort of side or some what some of them believe the Muslims don't believe that no angel can ever disobey Allah so that's where we find that Iblis was able to disobey Allah because he wasn't from the the Malaika now there's one one thing here why is it that Iblis is now going to disobey God now you've got to understand the whole thing behind the creation of Adam alayhi salam. suddenly Allah reveals to the angels and he says I am about to make on the earth a Khalifa or someone who will take command second in charge or someone who will rule again reign after the last reigning I'm about to make a Khalifa on the earth now when Allah said that Iblis got really happy right he must have got really happy and you know why because Iblis knows that the angels are not the ones who are going to rule the earth if there's anyone there's going to be the creation from the jinns Allah is going to now make a Khalifa perhaps from the jinns but Allah's decision wasn't that he's going to make a Khalifa or a vicegerent from the jinns his decision now was that he's going to create this new creation now this shocked Iblis because all these years that Iblis had worshipped Allah and had been so good was because he wanted power. He wanted prestige. He wanted to be in charge on the earth. He wanted to be, you know, come back on the earth and he's going to be sent perhaps as a messenger. Or he's going to be sent with a new command of God on the earth. Or he's going to be in charge of the jinns on the earth. There's something beautiful that's going to come for Iblis. Something that he had a big glimmer and a big hope in. And all that was getting crushed now with this new creation. Now who is this new creation? 